But breaking news as we come on air tonight. Ousted Republican Party Chair Christian Ziegler will not face charges after allegations of rape. You're watching 10 Tampa Bay at 5. I'm Frank Wiley. And I'm Courtney Robinson. Now, that does not mean the investigation is over. 10 Tampa Bay's Adoria Chumba is live tonight outside of the Sarasota Police Department. Adore. Tell us what investigators are saying Frank to you and tonight. Courtney, Sarasota Police say at this hour they found no probable cause to uh, to charge Kristen Ziegler regarding those allegations of rape. Now, a female friend had accused Ziegler of rape back in October, and it was during this investigation that police documents revealed the accuser was involved in a three-way sexual relationship with Ziegler and his wife, Bridget, who's on the Sarasota County School Board and the co-founder of Moms for Liberty. Detectives conducted around a dozen interviews and issued several subpoenas. They also looked through surveillance videos, several cell phone videos and photos too, including iCloud data from both parties. And according to the police statement, video evidence reportedly showed the encounter was likely consensual. Now, in that same statement, police say the accuser, however, was not aware that uh, Mr. Ziegler was recording her during this sexual encounter and therefore was not able to provide consent to be filmed as required under Florida law. And Adore, this investigation has had a ripple effect on the community. That's right. Not only did this uh, scandal damage the carefully curated image of the conservative brand that was touted by the Zieglers, a political blow was dealt to Christian Ziegler when he lost his state GOP chair seat last week. Now, even though Mrs. Ziegler herself was not a part of this investigation, she has not escaped public scrutiny and has been the target of community outrage with calls for her resignation from the Sarasota School Board. Live in Sarasota, Aduria Chumba, 10 Tampa Bay. All right, Aduria, and to that point, we did just hear from an attorney for Christian Ziegler. He sent us a statement saying in part that the accusations and subsequent public judgment has caused irreparable harm to the family. He says that they're confident, though, the state attorney will not pursue further charges.